Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be replacing the camshaft position sensors on the M157 uh, for Matic. Uh, that's a CLS, uh, CLS 63. Right now I have about 43,000 miles, a little bit less than 43. And uh, the three of the camshaft position sensors are leaking. So one, two, uh, three, and four. And uh, new sensors. Uh, those are the new sensors. Got them from FCP Euro. And they come as a kit uh, with one of the cleaners. I didn't have the cleaner myself, so I just got this one. Uh, for the cleaner, I'm not gonna be uh, pressurizing the air. I'm just gonna shoot the cleaner, wipe it off as much as I can, uh, let it dry probably, as because uh, I'm not gonna drive the car tonight. And tomorrow morning, I'm just gonna plug them in. So that's the scope, uh, the T30 uh, back, uh, a little screwdriver just in case, uh, pliers, and uh, that's pretty much what you're gonna need for that job. All right, so let's begin. Let me find a supply here, we'll move it in here, so it's gonna be better visible. Duct on both sides. So here is one more, two, three, and four. Uh, those are a little bit tricky to get to them because of the AC hose and the wiring harness for. Um, so those are camshaft. Uh, they are as well i don't remember what's the exact name but it's, it's a sensor as well they could be leaking too that's something as well to check i think mine so far okay in this situation uh, i do not have a leak from the it's the oil haven't made it all the way to the whisk yet at least that's what i saw a week ago when i was ordering the sensors and i didn't drop the car barely since then <clears throat> so let's start T30, uh, but first I'm going to take the plug off. So how you take those plugs? So it's a little push and slide. Now to take the plug completely out, it's easier to come up to this, give it a little pry like so and then it slides out because when it's hot cold for whatever reason those plastics are hard and they are just gonna break so we can see this one is oily <coughs> i believe this one is dry as i remember so i'm just gonna slide this one out pry it and slide it out let's see how is it looking And this is the only one that dry but I got all four of them so just gonna replace all four of them I got them from FCP Euro yeah that's pretty that's pretty bad And this one definitely is full of oil. All right. Mm. 
Now about the torque, I believe they should be seven, not more than that, basically kind of a hand tight. Don't lose the bolts. That's super hot. Okay, we get a little cloth, so and I'll put the bolts on the table. Now it's better to clean them now before you put a new one or one before when you open it and you're gonna have an open hole and you're gonna try to clean it then. So I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna wipe the whatever is there, give it a good spray. dry as much as I can. Now you can take that little gasket out and see if anything under there. But don't lose it. Usually the, the gasket might get some effect from the from the cleaning spray so you don't want to there she is <clears throat> and I'm gonna leave it outside for a moment so it's gonna dry because if you see in there a little bit still kind of have that if you have an air gun or compressor you can kind of go over it but definitely not to blow into the holes because it will push the existing oil that's already there through the hardness basically in that in that moment that uh, the wiring becoming to be as a uh, straw that it slowly fits through it and as long as your uh, oil pump working it's gonna keep pumping the oil and every time you're trying to push through it or blow the air through it you're gonna obviously push it forward from the straw you got those Q-tips, but I'm not sure, they don't reach that much, but I'll try to do as much as I can to get the most of it out, to dry the most of it. So let's say that's one. And it's always good to check that you don't have any debris around it and you just wiggle them and pull them out the engine is super hot all right so that's one and uh, that's how the sensor look and i believe Sorry, 
that's the bottom part of the sensor and I believe through those holes where it's kind of I guess weeding that's how it start to feed the oil to the connector itself there's nothing wrong with the sensor I believe but could be mistaken because because the reading so you see that little slot right there that's probably where it start to get the oil to it's not from that rubber seal because if it was you would see the oil all the way around uh, but it's due to the oil get into the sensor and then traveling to the wire connector <coughs> I'll give it a quick clean now I gonna probably have a little touch of oil on the new o-ring so it's gonna slide easier that's one more yeah and that one let me get some light that one you can see inside yeah so basically it's traveling to those legs and the plastic inside just giving up and I can see something right here like that ring interesting why is it doing that but it's definitely let's call it a, at this point a maintenance item <coughs> because of the common failure in all of them and that's the new sensor and I believe that's the spot where it's getting the oil through now it's good to buy them from place like FC Pure because you know that they're gonna fail and it's always good to check them I don't know once a month <laughs> I guess in that case so you won't get any oil in your uh, ECU Just a tip of the oil from the older sensor just to have it squeezed in or if you don't have any pretty sure you will find here plenty like that more than enough I believe anyway that part will sit in oil so one for the bolt and at this point I can put the bolt back I'll probably close cover the cup just for that moment You definitely don't want to over tie them and you don't want to under tie them. The way how the the way how it build so that part is already pretty much sealing you're not putting any pressure on the bolt over here or what you do uh, and you see there is a metal socket inside so you won't crush it and or break uh, that crack it basically do any damage to it while you tighten it so what you want to do you just uh, 
uh, probably want to lightly hand tie them and that will be more than enough there's a part number on it if you see right here That's it for those two. Now the other side. It's more trickier because of all that piping that around here. Probably gonna lose this one out. So I can gain better access to that sensor. It's T30, guys. This one had a Loctite. That's why it was. All right, so now we kind of have more room to play. And for that purpose, I will use a little screwdriver to give me a little contra on the other side. Here we go. I should have cleaned the connector before, but oh well. It will still be manageable. Now because of the small axis, I'm just gonna get another Q-tip. I bought a whole box of them a while ago, just for all those kind of tight areas to reach. I think I was doing the valves on the M156 uh, camshaft plates uh, hydraulic lifters to call them I guess instead of valves Just a tiny, don't need more than that. All right, that's in. Now this guy. This one was pretty badly filled with oil. Funny part, I do have bumper to bumper on that car still. But when I brought it to the, uh, to the dealer, and it's a Mercedes of Wesley Chapel in Florida, AutoNation. Hey, the one who sold me the warranty as well, AutoNation, sold me the warranty, not the Mercedes-Benz dealership, but the AutoNation, because I got the car from AutoNation. They said, uh, that's a sippage, it's not a leak. So, it's not covered by the warranty. <laughs> Did you ever heard that kind of joke, guys? Please let me know in the comments what do you think about that when the dealer gives you 
is a bumper to bumper warranty and the warranty that they sell actually don't cover nothing i mean <laughs> they do cover everything but they find any any optional way to give you the hard time not to get it done and as well you know techs they usually don't work behind the desk so they have no time for paperwork pictures etc 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 waiting for the car to be on the lift they want to get to the next one because that's how they get pay and the warranty just gives them the worst experience so they won't bother so they don't won't deal with that kind of stuff it's amazing but luckily we have fcp euro who have a good reputation awesome reputation perfect parts good shipping and etc etc all the best stuff I can say about them, only that. <clears throat> All right, now on this one, I'm gonna take the rubber seal as well. Just watch out not to rip it, okay? And not to lose it. This is gonna be a little bit trickier to get to him. But it is possible. And let's give them a good spray. Again, I'm gonna try to. Wrap them. So they won't spray everywhere. I do have an air compressor, but right now it's already 11.30 at night, so I'm kind of doing it on my free time with you guys. <coughs> Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks for all the subscribers. Uh, definitely would like to get more and help more with what I can. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna wipe the gaskets, those little O-rings that sit here and put them back together. Uh, but I'm probably gonna leave it to dry like that until tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, that spray will do what it's supposed to. and clean the majority of it. Uh, the reason why, because tomorrow I can kick in the compressor early, uh, make some noise and just, you know, blow everything around the housing here and get all of it out so it won't come back to the sensor. Because next time when I check it and I see a little bit oil, I'm gonna start panicking, but I, that's the reason why I wanna have it all clean. So I'll be uh, sure that if it's leaking, then it's definitely leaking and it's just not some kind of uh, oils that have been left on the connector and it's now making me confused. So that's about those. Uh, air duct goes back after you're done. And uh, that's it. The next video, <coughs> excuse me, is gonna be for replacing the control arm so those are the control arms uh, nothing wrong with my control arm bushings or the ball joint the problem is 
that bushing slid out. So the control arm slid off the bushing and when you turn, you have really nasty uh, cracking noise. So that's gonna be a next video and that's on the driver's side. Then after that, I'm gonna be putting uh, front lowering springs and the uh, rear uh, lowering links. Let me show you the springs. Coilovers, so those gonna be for the front, um, and for the rear is gonna be the adjustable links, which uh, those links I make them myself. So if anybody interested, uh, please give me a, give me a message, and if you need those links, let me know. I do sell them on eBay, and uh, I do sell them for all variety pretty much Mercedes's that have the lowering uh, the air suspension or the ABC suspension hydraulic lowering suspension as well so leveling sorry uh, I do have all of that in stock uh, thank you everybody for watching I hope that video was helping somebody and somebody found it helpful uh, if not uh, please let me know if you have anything to add, comments, like, shares, uh, that will be awesome. Thank you, everybody.